Hello, this is Robert Bilo with Citation Customer Support Pilot Services, here to share with you the third video in a four video series of tutorials for Windows Cessnav. This video will provide instructions for basic operation of Cessna's loading calculator, CLCalc, for weight and balance on a Windows platform. We assume that you already have CLCalc successfully installed. However, if you need help with that, please look for our Windows Cessnav basic installation video. These instructional videos were produced in 2010 by Collier Burbach, who spent six years with Pilot Services before moving to engineering. This video is also available on CessnaSupport.com's Cessnav support pages and on Cessnav CD-ROMs. The other three videos in this Windows Cessnav tutorial set are Windows Cessnav basic installation of all three calculators, Windows Cessnav citation performance calculator, CP Calc basic operation, Windows Cessnav electronic operating manual basic operation for in route performance. And now, here is Windows Cessnav citation loading calculator basic operation. The Citation Loading Calculator, or CLCalc, is the CESNAV program used to determine weight and balance based on an aircraft-specific weight and balance database. When you first open CLCalc, ensure your serial number appears on the main page. If you have more than one database loaded, you will see a drop-down allowing you to select which aircraft you wish to work with. Now select the Loadings tab. In the top left corner, you will see a drop-down box. This box allows you to store multiple loading manifests for this aircraft. You will see a default loading and a sample loading. The sample loading is an example with all seats filled and a nominal weight in the tail count. The default, as the name implies, is what each new mission will be based on. Operators who wish to set a basic operating weight can use the default manifest to include pilots, standard charts, or stores in each new mission. To create a new mission, click the New button. Then specify a mission loading name. For this example, we will use our route of flight. When you click OK, that manifest will be added to the drop-down list. You can also rename and delete existing loadings. The seat numbers correspond to your interior layout. One and two are always pilot and co-pilot seats. In this example, seat 10 and 11 are a Ford two-place couch. They also have six club seats as well as a left-hand belted toilet. To see this visually, click the Show Diagram button. A diagram with some of the more common interiors will be displayed. Passenger weights can be added either by typing in the actual weight or selecting their weight from a drop-down. In the Passenger Name field, you can either type the person's name in or if there are entries in the Occupant Database, you can click the drop-down arrow to select their name from the database. We will discuss the occupant database later in this section. Now select the radio button next to stores weight. Here we can enter cargo and stores weight on our aircraft. For this example, we will have 50 pounds in the nose baggage, 10 pounds in the chart case, and 20 pounds in the refreshment center. If you select the drop down, you will see that the maximum weight for that cargo compartment is at the bottom of the list. If you attempt to enter a weight higher than the maximum, the box will turn red and you will get a max weight limit violated flag at the bottom. At the top of the page, if you wish, you can enter a flight date, departure and destination airports, and a flight number. 
These will be displayed on the weight and balance form that is printed out. Now select the graph tab. Here you will see your CG diagram as well as the current zero fuel weight plot and your fuel curve. If you have recently calculated a mission using the electronic operating manual, you will see a button titled Import Fuel Weights. If you select this button, the calculated taxi, reserve, and mission fuel from the EOM mission will be displayed. You can also click the default fuel values to load the default taxi and reserve fuel. The mission fuel will then be increased until max capacity is obtained. If your fuel load should be under max capacity, you will see a button titled Maximize. If you click this button, you will have the option to maximize either your mission or your reserve fuel. If you are going to tanker this extra fuel, we recommend you select Reserve. That way, the additional fuel will also be added to your landing weight. When I selected Reserve, our reserve fuel went from 900 pounds to 3,708. We are now at max capacity of the tanks. The program will also show you your current takeoff weight and CG as well as landing weight and CG. The three buttons in the top left corner of the CG diagram are your print functions. The furthest to the right allows you to choose which printer you wish to send your form to. The middle button allows you to obtain a print preview. The furthest left button will allow you to print out a hard copy. Now select the options menu. On the options menu you have the ability to update the aircraft's basic empty weight, empty moment, enter a weight date, and a last weight moment change date. You can specify your default taxi and reserve fuel as well as change the registration number. You can also change the display of the CG diagram from fuselage station inches to percent MAC. If you make a change to the basic empty weight and select OK, a confirmation message will appear. If you confirm the changes, select OK. Select the Occupant Database tab. Here you can add passengers and their respective weight. Then, when you're looking at occupants on the Loadings tab, you can select the occupant's name from the drop-down and their weight will automatically be populated. This concludes the training on the Citation Loading Calculator. Thank you, Collier. For questions regarding Cessnav subscription purchase, renewal, disk replacement, annual subscription code, or login credentials for the iPad versions, please call Technical Publications at 316-517-5800 or email techpubs at customercare at txtav.com. If you are having any functional issue with the Cessnav apps, please call our pilot services team at 316-517-7717 or email us at cessnav at txtav.com. We sincerely hope that this video is useful. From everyone on the Cessnav team, thanks for watching. Happy landings.